Hi, in this video you will learn how to insert slides from another PowerPoint presentation in 2013 version. I am Ram Gopal from PrezoTraining.com, a site that offers creative presentation ideas for trainers. Now I have two presentations. One is called Layers. As you can see here, there are six slides in total. And I have another presentation called Pyramids. And you can see that there are eight slides from this presentation. There is one thing I want you to notice in particular. You can see that we have applied a certain design theme to these slides. The color theme that is used is different. There is this border here which all signify that there is a certain theme that is applied and that I want you to keep in mind because that is essential to know the difference between two ways in which you can insert slides in any presentation. When it comes to inserting slides from another presentation, you need to be aware of two very essential terminologies. One is the presentation into which you are going to insert the slides. We call the presentation the destination. The presentation from where you are going to take the slides is called as the source presentation. So you take slides from source presentation and insert it into a destination presentation. Why is that important? You will know that in a second. Here we are in the destination presentation. We are going to insert slides into this presentation. As you can see here, there are slides here in the thumbnail view. Whenever I want to insert slides, I prefer to have a slide sort of view and you can go here in the status bar and click on this option. It is called a slide sorter option. And when you see, you would be able to get an overall view of the various slides in your presentation. The reason why I prefer to have a slide sort of view is I get a big picture view because PowerPoint allows you to insert slides anywhere you want. You can insert slides at the beginning or at the end or in the middle. Having a slide sort of view allows me to know exactly where I need to insert my slides. Let us say I want to insert my slides between the third and fourth slide. I'm going to click here. You can see that there is this red line that gets appeared and this is where we are going to insert the slide. Now let us go to the presentation from where we are going to pick up the slides. Let us say I want to pick up three slides from this presentation. I'm going to select the first one. I'm going to hold the control button down so I can pick up non-contiguous slides. What I mean by non-contiguous slides is these slides can be in any order you want. They don't necessarily have to be a continuous series of slides. You can pick up any slide from this presentation. So I have selected this first. I'm holding the control button down and I'm going to select the second slide and I'm going to click on the third slide. So you can see that whenever I clicked on a particular slide, there is this red outline that gets formed. So these three slides are selected. I'm going to right click, say copy. Then I go, it, go to the destination uh, presentation. I said I'm going to insert the slides between three and four. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste. Now when I paste, there are two options here. The one on the left is called as use destination theme. I already told you the presentation into which you are going to insert your slides is called as destination presentation. You need to choose whether the slides that you're going to insert is going to follow the theme of this presentation, which is the destination presentation. So use destination theme or you can keep the source formatting. The source presentation has its own design theme, as I showed you. Whether you want to retain that formatting or not is what you're going to decide here. Now, let me show you what happens if I choose uh, these options. Let me choose the first option, which is use destination theme. When I click on use destination theme, you can see that even though my slides uh, have a different kind of a formatting here in the presentation from which I have taken, when they are inserted into my new presentation, you can see that the slides follow the design theme and the formatting of my existing presentation. So that is one way of going about it. I'm going to press Ctrl Z to undo the operation. Now let us see what happens if I choose the second option. I right click and say keep source formatting. When I click on keep source formatting, you can see that whatever is the design theme and the formatting of the source presentation is retained 
even though it is inserted into this presentation. So those are the two options you have whenever you insert slides from another presentation. Now what I showed you is one way of inserting slides from another presentation into your existing presentation. Now there is another way in which you can insert your slides. Now let me uh, delete these and let me show you the option using reuse slides. So I am going to go to the third slide here after which we are going to insert the slides. And here you can see in the thumbnail view that I have the option to insert wherever I want. I'm going to click between the third and fourth slide here. So you can see that red line appears here. Then I go to insert and here I have new slide option. There is a small arrow underneath this icon, icon uh, for new slide. So I'm going to click on that one. And here right down, you can see that there is this option called reuse slides. So I'm going to choose the option called reuse slides. As soon as I did that, you get this dialog box or this pane opens up. Here you have a few options. One is open a slide library. You can pretty much ignore this unless and otherwise uh, your organization uses SharePoint server we are going to use this option called open a PowerPoint file. You can either click on this or you can click on browse and you can click on this. All these are going to allow you to access a certain file. So I'm going to click on open a PowerPoint file option and I'm going to go to desktop from where I have got the other presentation. And as I told you, that presentation is called pyramid and I'm going to click on that and say open. Now that opens up that presentation on this pane. Now you can see all the slides are visible here. Now you have this option called keep source formatting. As I told you before, the source presentation has a certain formatting. Do you want to keep that formatting or not is the question. If you're going to select keep source formatting, whatever is the formatting that exists in the source presentation is what is going to be retained. So if I want that I can click on the small little option here called keep source formatting and to insert a slide all I need to do is to select and click on that slide and immediately it gets uh, inserted into the presentation the same way if I want uh, this one and this one I can click so that is how you insert slides using this method of reuse slides option to very quickly tell you where exactly you find that, you go to insert, go to new slide and all the way down you get the option called reuse slide. When you click on that, you get this dialog box and from where you're going to select the presentations. Now, if let me uh, delete these uh, slides and let us say I don't want the keep source formatting option, I uncheck that one. And now when I click on this, the slide gets inserted but it uses the destination theme. You can see, that the color theme used in the existing presentation matches with the color theme used from the uh, source presentation. So this is the second option. So there are two different ways in which you can insert slides from different presentations. One is the copy and paste option that I showed you earlier. The second one is reuse slides option. There is one tip that I want to give you as a presentation designer. The tip is an answer to the question which is very, very important. When do you keep source formatting and when do you use destination theme? Let us say you have a group presentation to make. Let us assume that there are three different people who are going to make a presentation from the same slide deck. One is going to talk about the business side, another one is going to talk about the finance side and third one is going to talk about the people side. And these three presentations are created in three different machines by three different people. Now when you want to make a slide deck from where all three are going to present, then it is a good idea to use keep source formatting option because those three different sections will look visibly different and therefore it will be much easier for your audience to understand your information. If that is not the case, then in every other case, I would suggest that you use use destination theme option. That ensures that even though you pick up slides from multiple presentations, your slide deck looks harmonious. And that is always going to be important when you make a presentation and when you make a brand promise to your audience. So I hope you got the answer to the question of how to insert slides from another PowerPoint presentation in 2013 version. If you did, then you will really love our free snackable PowerPoint course. It is a collection of 16 super short emails 
with each email giving you a 30 second PowerPoint tip or trick that allows you to improve the look and feel of your PowerPoint slides instantly. So click on the yellow button here and enroll into the free course and start impressing your bosses, colleagues and audiences with your newly developed PowerPoint skills. I'll see you inside the email course.